from wherever you join us for worship today. Many churches and Christians around the world today will remember the baptism of Christ and celebrate the significance of that moment and of baptism for us all. We hear Christ declared as God's beloved and of the Spirit coming upon him. As we gather, hear God call you beloved too and pray anew for the gift of his Spirit upon you and upon our world. This day Jesus is revealed as the Christ in the waters of baptism. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise, Praise to you, you Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty, Almighty God, God. To whom, whom all hearts, hearts are open, all desires, desires known, and, and from whom no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God of truth, you are faithful to the covenant you have made with us. Look in mercy on your people. From all our sins, O oh Lord, wash us, and we shall be clean. Together we say, Lord God, we have sinned against you. We have done evil in your sight. We are sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us to the joy of your salvation through jesus christ our lord amen may the father of all mercies cleanse us from our sins and restore us in his image to the praise and glory of his name through jesus christ our lord amen, amen. Heavenly Father, at the Jordan, you revealed Jesus as your Son. May we recognise him as our Lord and know ourselves to be your beloved children. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. John the baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel's hair, with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, 
The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I'm not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. So we invite you to come on a journey with me as we reflect on that passage. I want you to imagine you are at the Jordan River. It's a typically hot and humid morning and already it's 20 degrees Celsius. You are walking down to get water and you see this crowd of people all surrounding this strange looking man. The closer you get to this man, you realize you've heard about him. This is that strange fellow who lives out here in the wilderness. They say he's clothed with camel's hair and he eats locusts and wild honey. And he is pretty smelly, even more than most of the people. As you get closer to this group of people, you see John has this other bloke with him. You don't know why everyone is gathered round, but want to know what's going on. And as you get closer, John and this bloke start walking out into the river. And you realize John's baptizing someone again. You find yourself chuckling. It'll be another one from the city come to see what all the hype's about in the countryside. You've seen loads of mad individuals going into the river and being baptised. They're coming from all over Jerusalem. And as you turn your back to leave, something changes. You realise people have gone quiet. The noise that had filled the area suddenly stops and everyone is silently watching this scene. As you turn back around to look at John, this other person is glowing. It's like looking right into the sunlight after being in the dark. But you can't help but keep looking. And as you look, you can make out something coming onto this person's head. Descending onto this person almost looks like a bird, floating, but bright white, like a dove. Just when you think it can't get any weirder, a voice breaks the silence. A voice like nothing you've ever heard. A voice so powerful and commanding, yet soothing and gentle. And it speaks these words. You are my son, the beloved. With you I am well pleased. And just like that, he's gone. And John is left stood in the water simply smiling and looking at the silent crowd. I wonder how you'd have felt after witnessing that event, seeing Jesus baptized. Perhaps you'd feel confused, astounded, shocked, or in disbelief. 
wherever you find yourself watching this from, it's most certainly not on a gorgeously sunny day, with the water lapping at our feet and ankles and surrounded by hundreds of people. Most of us, at least in this country, will be watching at home. For some of us, we'll be lucky enough to be watching with loved ones. And for many more, perhaps you'll be watching on your own. And I wonder how you're feeling. Another lockdown. The church has closed. Family and friends unable to meet. Perhaps we feel confused. Astounded that it's all happened again. Shocked and in disbelief. Yet it's these moments in life when heaven and earth are closest. Where through great pain or elation, God is the most tangible. And those words are still heard. God's spirit still descends. And it's as if there is no one else around. Just you, seeing the veil of heaven being pulled back as you catch a glimpse of God's spirit. Then you hear that voice. That voice says your name. Your name with the phrase, my beloved, with you I am well pleased. As we find ourselves in lockdown again, May you hear those words afresh today. No matter how you are feeling, no matter how much you think things can't get much worse right now, God's spirit is upon you. And he says to you, you are my child. Not stranger, not creature. You are God's child, his beloved. And with you, he is well pleased. If you find yourself hearing that and thinking, that can't apply to me, then perhaps it's you who that applies to the most. Hear it and believe it. You are loved and with you, God is very pleased. Amen.
Let us pray. Let us pray for ourselves, for the church, for the world which God loves, and for all who are in any kind of need. Jesus calls us out of darkness into his marvellous light, washed clean by the waters of baptism, let us pray that we may live the life to which he has called us. Lord Jesus, eternal word, proclaimed as the Christ by John the Forerunner, hear us as we pray for all who proclaim your word. Lord of truth, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, baptizing with the Spirit and with fire, strengthen us to withstand all the trials of our faith. Lord of truth, hear. hear. Our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, bringing forgiveness to all who repent, teach your church dependence on your grace. Lord of truth, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, fulfillment of the promises of all. Give hope to all who suffer or are ignored. Lord of truth, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, beloved Son of the Father, anoint us with the gifts of your Holy Spirit. Lord of truth, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, bringer of hope, share with us and all the world the riches of eternal life. Lord of truth, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, in the Father, in you the Father makes us and all things new. Transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace. And in the renewal of our lives, make known your heavenly glory. Amen. God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us and as a pledge of what is to come has given the spirit to dwell in our hearts alleluia the peace of the lord be always with you and also with you and if you're able to offer that peace to someone in your home then please do or think of someone for whom you wish to share that peace albeit virtually The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is always right to give you thanks, God our Creator, loving and faithful, holy and strong. You made us and the whole universe and filled your world with life. You sent your Son to live among us, Jesus our Saviour, Mary's child. 
He suffered on the cross. He died to save us from our sins. He rose in glory from the dead. You send your spirit to bring new life to the world and clothe us with power from on high. And so we join the angels to celebrate and say, Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Father, on the night before he died, Jesus shared a meal with his friends. He took the bread and thanked you. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this to remember me. After the meal, Jesus took the cup of wine. He thanked you and gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood the new promise of God's unfailing love. Do this to remember me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will come again. Father, as we bring this bread and wine and remember his death and resurrection, Send your Holy Spirit, that we who share these gifts may be fed by Christ's body and his blood. Pour your Spirit on us, that we may love one another, work for the healing of the earth, and share the good news of Jesus as we wait for his coming in glory. For honour and praise belong to you, Father, with Jesus your Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. 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 Rejoicing in the presence of God here among us, we pray as our Saviour taught. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break the bread of life, and that life is the light of the world. God, God here among us, us, light in the midst of us, bring, bring us, us to, to light and, and life. Draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. The circumstances do not allow us to gather as we normally would to celebrate together and receive together the gifts of communion. You may wish to pray a prayer of spiritual communion at this time.
Almighty God, we, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. And to wherever, wherever we are sent this week, even if it's the sending is to remain at home and to keep safe and to keep others safe too. In the way that God sends us to do that, may we know his presence, his peace, and his power with us. The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Rest upon you and upon all those whom you love, both living and departing, this day and always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Proclaim the word made flesh. Glory, Glory thanks, thanks and, and praise, praise to God. God.